Hi guys, yes, welcome back to the channel. My name's Azert. Today we're in the HSV Holden. Um, I did do a tuning video of it um, a couple of days ago. That did go down quite well. It's an Australian car, and I think quite a lot of you guys are, you know, American, and it's got that kind of muscle car vibe to it. There is a uh, obviously a race series. I think it's in Australia called V8 Supercars or something that use similar cars to this. So um, yeah, it was a it was a very fun car to tune. It was a very it's a very fun car to use. In fairness, um, I just thought instead of showing you just a tuning video and letting you guys you know find out for yourself just how godlike this car is, let's just hit some A class lobbies and let's just have some fun with it. Let me just show you how good the car is. How stable, how quick, and how good it is, you know, mid turn coming out, going into turn. So, yeah, we're on the, uh, oh, I think it's Infineon Raceway, but I think they've called it Sonoma Raceway. I think they've called it on this, haven't they? So, um, we're behind, I think it's an Exige, a Lois, um, Inc. I think it's Inc. 27. The guy was a quick racer, in fairness. I think he held back there. I think he knew. It, it was coming, you know, I'd been hunting him down for a couple of laps now, I'd been so close on him, I, I just couldn't get past him and just keep it ahead. Luckily though, um, I was managed to uh, sneak him up the inside there on the drive out of that corner. And look at this, do you ever guys ever find this in lobby sometimes where there's a guy randomly, like at the end of the, you know, the home straight or the start line, and they're just out of shot? No, me neither, but yeah, he was there, and I think after that, I think, they just vanished from the lobby so yeah Laguna Seca my favorite race as well my favorite track as you all are aware I love this track but for some reason I always end up having a real real bad time here um, it's not usually my fault it's usually people crashing me off having a dirty race etc and uh, yeah the last lap on this guys you're gonna find quite amusing to be fair there are there are new lines invented should we say for the track so we're in a, we're in fourth place now our 10 races lap one straight up the inside of this alpha stradale we're going to sneak him on the brakes there into the left hand corner very difficult corner that um, if you do overcook it because the camber sort of like levels out as you go well pretty much within a meter into the corner um you start to lose grip and it's quite difficult to um you know guess and find where the the curb and the end the exit is for that corner so coming into lap two now up the inside of the cigar is there and uh, we all know how good the cigar is on the brakes and this is equal it. this is equal it. I've kept the tighter line there real real long overtake um, but you know we got the job done it wasn't a pretty one but we got the job done so now there's a guy in first place I do believe he's in a Mitsubishi Evo 7 6 I think and uh, yeah lap 3 here coming into the corkscrew he's ran wide and I'm thinking I'm on him now game over game set and match I know I'm quicker than him I know this car's quicker and um, yeah I, I don't know where he's gone there I think he must have his rally tyres on <laughs> so I'm thinking right sneaking around the outside here hold my line there and um, yeah I was gonna set him up for this corner but you know he did well there he did the right thing capped his well his wheel straight and just blocked me off essentially there was nothing that I can do so we're gonna start lap four of four now this is the last lap and I think I've got to do him somewhere I've got to do him he cuts into the uh, the inside there and I'm thinking right this is gonna be a bit of a dodgy race this so I sneak around the outside there late on the brakes he's equaled me on the brakes very very good overtake there he's kept his line the four-wheel driver that's just gonna power him out of this corner it's no match for my you know rear wheel drive uh, in the corners though so Slate on the brakes there, kissing the curb beautifully, firing her out. The good thing about this tune though guys, I, I have found that it's very stable coming out of corners. The XL and you know the way the suspension and the dampers, everything's all set up, it, it's perfect. You know, you can pin it mid-corner, it doesn't snap out, it doesn't gradually step out either, it just it spins one or you know one wheel now and then and it, it just grips. It's such a cool little car. I really really do like it. It's, a, it's one of my go-to cars now in A-Class. So I think that, I think his name is Jason or Jensen. Thanks for recommending this car to me to tune. So yeah guys I'm sneaking up the inside here at my favourite location to overtake the corkscrew and I'm thinking he ain't stopping there. Fair play to him. He snapped the handbrake on. I, I don't even know what I did because I was watching him. I turned a bit too early and yeah fair play to him. He's put his rally cross tyres on yet again, and um, I'm thinking I, I, could, I had nowhere to go. I had nowhere to go. Thinking around the outside, and more contact, and I was going to sneak him up the inside, but I just did, thought better of it. Round the outside of him, 
And uh, yeah, he steps the back end out, kicks me onto the curb and on the grass. And uh, yeah, it's a second place. Bit disappointed with that. But you know, you, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Did a 131.8, I think it was there, the fastest lap time. So, you know, I was the fastest in the lobby. It's just frustrating, you know, when you do have the fastest lap that you can't pull a, you know, a nice W out of the bag. But yeah, guys, so we're now going to hop on to the next race. This is on Suzuka. Um, if anyone's raced A class or raced against his, I think his name is Ode Steve. Ode Steve. Um, the guy's quick, you know, he's a quick little racer, and that car is. It's quick around here, in fairness. Um, I think it's a Nissan Skyline, one of the old Skylines or something, or no, or Datsun or something or other, anyway. And um, yeah, he was, a, he was quick. So I've got one lap of this. Um, after, uh, you know you know what happens as soon as I get in front, you know, I just pull the pin, line after line, I hit the kit, same curb, the same bit of tarmac, and I just disappear. It's as simple as that. But I'm going to leave this lap to run so you can see just, you know, what it's like, even on like cold tires against decent competition and decent cars and decent tunes so as i said this guy is rapid he you know he, he knows his way around the track and uh, this car you know it, it's it's incredible it truly is incredible i mean if you guys do want to start using this tune to improve your you know your overall race it, it, it's got it all it's got speed it's got acceleration it's got grip it's got oh it's mint on the brakes absolutely mint on the brakes and coming out of corners i love it absolutely love it to bits so you know I do recommend that you go and download it if you want to. It's on the storefront if you can't be bothered to go and build it. But if you do want to build it, there is a tuning set up on the uh, on the channel. Up the inside here, and I'm holding the curb. Look how, it, how nicely it rides that curb. I've used that curb in B, A, R class. You know, it it, it does sometimes want to settle the curb because everyone knows the, you know, the curbs at Suzuka are a bit iffy, a bit bumpy. and. You know, we're quite easy to set unsettle the car, whereas this, you know, even to fast corners like that, there's no body roll. It's just, oh, it's cool. I could talk about this car and this tune all day. You know, I've done, I've personally, I think I've done really well with it, and I think anyone who is, well, it's it's for all skill level to be fair. But I think if you do start using this car, you're going to start winning races. So we move on to the final race now, guys. We're on Rio. Rio, so obviously, as you know, there's always carnage on the first couple of corners because everyone's fighting for the, you know, the same tarmac, and there's what 22 people in this lobby. So I'm in 17th, noticing there's a bit of a lag, and uh, I kind of tried to cut him whilst he was ghost, but obviously, he turned into a solid. So yeah, it was a bit, a bit of a dodge overtake. I'm thinking something, someone's going to hit me somewhere, a little nudge there, but you know, I managed to get out okay, which is. For, for you know, as for all you subscribers will know, it's very rare that I get out of any second, third, first corner situation unscathed. So, into the uh, the tunnel now, the tunnel of dreams, and um, yeah, I'm holding my own against all you know all the other cars like that Ford Mustang there, um, Aston Martin. Obviously, these are all uh, I don't know how to put it. They're like a lot lower, a lot grippier cars, and this is a big boss basically. If you watch, like I say, if you watch the tuning video, you know how heavy this car is. It's an absolute boss. It's a tank, and you know it, it. But it's as agile as these in the corners, coming out of the corners. So beautiful turn there, up into well, up into tenth place, ninth place. I was thinking that Lotus, I knew he was going to cut my nose off, so I let him go. I had to cut, hit, well, I had to smash into the wall there to avoid that four thirty Scuderia. I think it's a Scuderia or challenge. Yeah, Scuderia, I think, wasn't it? Challenge to Dolly, one of the two I just cover my back just by saying them both. Snap it really tight there, clip that curb, and I'm back into eighth place. There's a the Lotus there sneaking around. I'm going to sneak around the outside. I'm not even going to attempt to say his game attack there. <laughs> so yeah, sneak around the outside of him. Bump there, knocks me a bit on, knocks the car a bit unstable, and yeah, I bump into the wall, but. Um, I'm in seventh place now, and uh, well, we're halfway through the race. Well, we're not even halfway yet. You know, we're on lap two or four, so you, you know, I'm just going to pull the pin now. I'm going to run my lines. I'm going to try and catch sixth place, and even try and catch first if I can. So hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, I can pull this back and win the race. I don't know if you notice or if you can see it in this race at all, but when I was playing the game and racing, there was lag. And, this isn't just me just making up excuses guys i'm sure you've noticed it and witnessed it before boys but it's when like you're on the brakes and your game speeds up like tenfold and then just slows right down it puts you off completely basically the game absolutely bums me 
absolutely bums me from doing that. So yeah, big little collision there with the wall there for the Mazda RX-8, I think. And I'm hot on this, well, well I was anyway. Until you hit the wall. I'm now in fifth place. I'm hunting down fourth. As you can see, I'm super late on the brakes. Cut that corner perfect. Skim the tie wall. Dangerous tactic there from me. Very dangerous. And um, yeah, flick it left, flick it right, flick it left again here. And I can see that proximity arrow getting bigger. And I'm thinking, he's caught me up quick. I think someone's been cutting corners, young man. Hot on the brakes there. And look at this car. It's cool, that's proper, proper low rider, isn't it? That? <laughs> proper slammed and uh, yeah I sneak up the inside of him here I was trying to show you the car but fucking damn walls in the way in it so uh, my man there has decided to Tokyo drift it around the last corner and now we're on lap three and I'm in third place call it fate call it whatever you want but perfectly ran that corner there just clipped the wall there accidentally but you know didn't slow me down too much Beautifully flat uh, put into the left hander there. Again, it, I can't argue with them two set of corners there. It was really, really good. It, it feels so good when you get them right. I don't think there's any other corner in the game that makes me feel so much better than smashing them two first corners at Rio. But I'm three and a half tenths up, nearly on my time. I know I'm on a fast, blistering lap time. And uh, I'm in third place. I don't like being in third place. Simple as that. And uh, yeah, into the right hander here under the tunnel, and I'm chasing down what I do believe to be an Aston Martin. Is it? No, it's a. Uh, I can't even tell you. I think it's a. I think it's a Mustang, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Mustang. Um, so I'm pulling up the left hand side. Big bit of lag there for him. Well, on my game, should we say? And um, the bumps obviously set my car a bit unstable, should we say? So it. I'm 1.269 seconds up on my time now, and I'm thinking this is going to be a blistering lap time blistering lap time try to race to the the track as normal there but did kind of clip the uh, the last curve a bit too heavy and uh, look at this like the game is just terrible it's lagging like nothing so i'm really struggling because i don't really like overtaking people when they like because i i think i've got that collision assist off you know when people crash into you or you crash into people it's meant to sort of like help you stay on the track i've turned it off just because i don't like it because your, your car ends up doing like cartwheels and stuff and then just grips back up and you, yeah I just don't like it and especially with sim steering as well it's nah it's no good absolutely smashed that first corner there absolutely smashed it curb to curb basically and I'm hot on I can even see first now so I'm getting my hopes up I'm feeling a bit excited now a bit rare a bit rare you know I'm, I'm going to do it I'm going to, I was going to sneak up the inside of him there for the David again if you know if you if you race a class which I think he predominantly does he's another quick racer so yeah and um, yeah I'm going to try and sneak around the outside here into the uh, into the tunnel and hopefully yeah earlier on the brakes than me i'm still running wide slightly but i managed to like use the throttle and cut it back in rear steel you know things called rear steering rear steer that car around that corner to give me the fastest optimum time i could through it i'm hot on inc 27 the guy that i was just racing on uh, sonoma raceway again he's in that exige or like he's in some works anyway i'm hot on him now and i'm thinking game over boy game over i've got you <laughs> and look everything's going a wall and uh, yeah i'm just gonna let this last bit play out for you um i'm not gonna really talk over this bit right now can you believe it all of that all of that hunting that racing that grit to get into first place to get into second I end up on the third step of the podium just because of a bit of lag, a bit of connection. But yeah, guys, that's the car. That's how it handles. Well, that's how I race it anyway, and that's how good this car is. If you do want it, it is on the storefront, guys. Search my gamer tag as a space85, space85. And uh, other than that, please stay tuned for more. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.